There are job interviews underway in Washington. I know you're not going to comment on the uh, prospective Fed chairs individually, but let me ask you this. How much sway does a new chairman have? Uh, some people have different ideas about how the Fed should be run. Somebody walks in the door tomorrow, can they say we're going to change the way we do policy? It is a committee, so you have to be able to bring along the committee. So leadership matters and who the chair is uh, does make a difference to how monetary policy uh, evolves over time. But they do have to work with the committee. Um, frequently there's a lot of influence that occurs from staff around the Federal Reserve System. So it's not just that the Fed presidents and governors, we have a very uh, competent and uh, staff that goes through and provides a lot of the briefing documents. So the change may occur, but it probably evolves relatively slowly. You normally don't see big discrete changes in central bank policy because there's a lot of role for the staff and a lot of the people that are presidents are were here before and will be here after. How much influence does the president of the United States have over the Federal Reserve? Well, it certainly has the influence uh, through the who they appoint. And right now, not only is the chair up, but there are a number of other slots open. Um, so the president gets to pick those people, and those people do make a difference for how monetary policy evolves. So in that way, I, the president has a big influence. Uh, once the person is in their position, it's a little like the Supreme Court, that there's a lot less influence once the people are in those positions. And that's by design. The goal is to have a central bank that's independent of politics. And so there is some involvement in the appointment process, but after that, hopefully whoever's picked is primarily focused on getting the right outcome for the American people.